Hey folks, hope you're doing well. Some of you may be aware of a recent topic of discussion going around that has centered on the earthquake activity at La Palma, Canary Islands, and this interesting grid effect that we see happening when inspecting the interactive map provided by EMSC. So I'm just going to continue to zoom in on this island and <clears throat> take note of the interesting grid pattern that we have here. And there's a lot of people saying a lot of things about why it looks this way. And at this point in time, I think it's pretty widely understood why we actually see this grid pattern happen. But in case you have not heard or seen that case presented, essentially what's happening is the data provided to map these points is not granular enough to fill the areas in between. I mean, these are perfectly symmetrical, equidistant points throughout the map. And just to show what exactly is the cause, it's due to the fact the longitude and latitude values used to plot those points only go into the hundredths. So you're limited to the granularity. Okay, so some may be wondering, oh, I wonder what it actually looks like if we had a more granular view to the thousandths or ten thousandths. And I was curious myself, so I inspected one of these events, could be any of them, but we'll notice here that their actual source information is IGN. And to me, it just seems like, you know, the USGS, when they plot their data or post it, they're quite granular in terms of the location. And I just thought to myself, you know, the, I feel like the source here is probably more granular than what we're seeing presented by EMSC. So I followed the link over to IGN, quickly learned Spanish <laughs> by translating, and kind of navigated my way through the site, just kind of trying to figure out where is their, their seismic activity listed. The first thing that, that stuck out was actually this right here, the Información Seismica. Probably just butchered that. German, German is my secondary language. Um, seismic information, these seem to correlate. So I followed that link, which led me to this seismic information page. And then I noticed that there's a link to the earthquake catalog. And that takes me to the region of coverage for IGN. And then I, I just come over here and I zoom in on the region. So we have Santa Cruz de la Palma. This is the island in question where we're seeing the grid pattern mainly because that's where all the seismic activity is happening around the volcano. So the map here allows us to select a region that we'd like to inspect. And one thing I will note is these values down here uh, have to be within a certain parameter. So when you go to actually retrieve the mapping data or the, the seismic data here, it'll tell you whether or not your selected region is valid. All right, so for the start date, I'm going to select, it's funny you can see it translating in real time. I just went all the way back to, I think it was like right around the weekend of September 12th that a lot of the earthquakes started to occur. And I'm just gonna go to today or yesterday, November 11th. So my start date and end date are set. I selected a region for which I'd like to inspect the data. So I send the request. And I get a very large list of events that have occurred within that region. Next step is to export. I export this as a KMZ. I know that's a file which is 
compatible with uh, Google Earth. So that's where I'm going to in actually inspect and map the data. Okay, so I have that file downloaded. I have Google Earth loaded already so I'm gonna open up a file and select my KMZ immediately we can see a huge cluster of quakes right around the, the island in question and First of all, the amount of activity here is just absolutely astronomical. I mean, it's just the whole island in this region, this whole region of the island is just littered with activity. And obviously, you know, if you can detect some sort of pattern there, good luck. But there it is. The more granular mapping, uh, let me just show you this uh, this gives us four decimals so m exponentially higher granularity in the graphic that's represented here in the map i hope this is helpful this it's just i mean the sheer number of events that has occurred is is pretty amazing and uh, the fact that we have the technology available to go through and inspect this plot it to a 3d map I, I mean been working with computers for a long time and i continue to be amazed at what people are producing pretty cool as well so you can dig into these events and then get more information about each one they uh if you see a bunch that are clustered together they'll split out those of you who are familiar with google earth may already know this but uh really nifty you know you see these are color coded based upon magnitude with the darker the darker reds being a higher magnitude the lighter yellows being lower so i hope that helps clear up some things and really just enable you all to go out and uh, do your own research utilize the data and tools available you know i know there are some controversial topics surrounding this but at the end of the day it's up to you to inform yourself on the data that's available and not just listen to what other people are saying or telling you. So part of the goal here is to enable folks to go out and do this research for themselves. Take care. Peace.